Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Today I'm going to be doing my first page in my new circle journal. So as you can see, I've taken one of the pages out and I'm gonna work on it independently. And I've taken a compass and I've just drawn some circles for guides that I'm going to use for the structure of the page. And I've taken out my Neocolor 2 um, water-soluble wax pastels. And I'm just going to use a variety of different colors on the page and I'm going to blend them on the page with a baby wipe. I'm not going to use a, a water brush or a, a paintbrush with a water pot. I'm literally just going to blend all the colors on the page with a baby wipe. So it makes it a lot easier and I find that I have a lot more control over where the paint or where the colors actually go um, using a baby wipe. So. Once again, I shall just pop on some music because there's not a lot that I really need to say during the process of doing this because you're watching it happen anyway and you can pretty much see and work out what I'm doing. You don't really need to know what's going through my head uh, at this point, not a lot, um, because it's one of those processes that you can just lose yourself in. It's a real cathartic exercise once you're starting to lay the colour down. So I shall leave you to it and I will come back again when I have something that I think I need to um, talk to you about. And in case you're wondering, the pencil marks that you can see will rub off later or either be obscured by the page elements, but they will just come off with a standard eraser. So that's it for the Neo Colours. I'm just going to give it one last rub over just to make sure that everything's nicely blended. And then I'm going to bring out the heat gun and I'm just going to dry it off and try and stop the page from wrinkling and crinkling and curling up too much. So now that we're dry, I'm bringing out my microbial stencil from TCW and this is the Sepia Archival Ink from Ranger. And I'm using the old style 
ink blending tool because mine's just sitting there not doing anything and as soon as I'm using a stencil I'm not bringing it in from the edge of the page then I might as well use it because otherwise it's just going to sit there and gather dust. So I'm going to use a couple of stencils, actually three different stencils on this page. And I'm going to use different colours for each one and all I'm trying to do is just to create a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest in the background before I add on my main focal point. So the next colour is the Vermilion Archival Ink and I've replaced the pad with a brand new one and the stencil I'm going to be using is called Halftone Dots and it's from a UK based company called That Special Touch. And the final colour I'm going to use is Jet Black Archival Ink from Ranger again. And the stencil I'm using is a barbed wire stencil. Now this is from a company that um, I think is based in Holland and they're called Dutch Doobadoo. That kind of gives it away where they're from. Bit of a strange name, but there you go. There are worse. And it's a, a quite unusual stencil. I don't normally see like a barbed wire pattern, which is why I grabbed it while I could. Um, and I've had it for quite a while, but I haven't really had the opportunity to use it. But because this is one of those art journal pages that um, it fits. There's not many that do, but this does. So you'll see why when I start adding the focal point. So this is the first of my focal points. This is a clock face that comes from a new digital collage, art journal collage set called the Raven Queen. And you'll see why in a second. Um, now, instead of my using the composite like I normally do, I thought for a change, I would actually use all the individual elements so that you can see me putting the page together rather than just using the one big image. So I'm using the um, Ranger collage glue stick. This is the triangle glue stick. And I'm going to stick all the individual elements down with this glue stick onto my page. And because I've used the craft mat, I need to wipe off the excess glue before I place the paper back down on, because otherwise I'll be sticking that down to the, the desktop. And then I'm going to place my clock face right in the center, which is why you saw me popping a hole through the middle so that I could get it lined up with the center of my journal. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a rub, not too much, because it doesn't really need it. And then I'm going to move on to the next bet. So I want to bring in that stencil again, the bad wire stencil, and just add some of the color so that it comes up and over the top of the clock. That way I'm bringing the clock into, um, I'm blending the clock into the background. So you can see the barbed wire in the background and then you can also see some of that barbed wire coming um, in front of it. So it kind of brings it all together and makes it feel all part of the one main image. Okay, so the next of my collage layers, and I'm adding the glue to the back, as you can see here, and yes, it does look like a bird standing on a branch, which is exactly what it is. This is a raven standing on a branch, but a little bit of a difference to it, it's actually wearing a little necklace that's got a heart jewel on it. Now, I have just trimmed the branch to the left-hand side so that it follows the line of the page. It's not like this on the main image, 
I don't know, I did this deliberately just so that it, it had that same kind of circular feel to it. And I'm just adding some white uh, or some titanium white with my finger. This is a Reeves titanium white paint. You could use any white acrylic or even gesso if you wanted to. Now the reason I'm doing this is because the center of the clock is black and the raven is black. So what I've done is I've just added some kind of like white wisps of paint behind the raven just so that you can still catch the outlines of the bird. So as you can see there it does add a little bit of like a halo around it and then just using the baby wipe and some more of that white paint I'm just going to rub around the page just adding in some of that white paint just to tone down a little bit the, the colours and also to add in a kind of um, a kind of mist feel so that there's a faint sort of fog hanging around and what I'll do is I'll bring the paint in from the right hand so the left hand side into the page and it just catches the edges as you can see there and just gives it a little bit of an ethereal feel to it. Okay, so the next piece of my collage from the sheet that I've cut out, and this is going to be um, the last day that I'm going to put over the top on this part of the collage. And wait till I flip it over. There you go, and there's the head. So a little bit spooky, a little bit eerie, and a little bit dark. Um, but I did promise a while ago that when I did these collage sheets, that I would remember the weird girls. So this set really is for all the weird girls out there who like their uh, their gothic, their quirky, their emo kind of style. Um, this collage set really is for them because um, we've done quite a few cute ones in the past we've done some nice butterfly ones and some florally ones so this really is for those um, people with that that kind of darker outlook but I think it's really really good I love this one but I'm completely biased of course but then again I would be so just giving it a bit of a dry off as you can see and I'm trying to make sure that the page doesn't curl too much now it is watercolour card, but because of the weight of everything on it, you know, it is going to buckle a little bit. So as you can see here, I've just taken the last um, ink blending foam and I'm just going to go around the edge of the page, just using up the rest of the ink that's on there and just adding a little bit more to it. And um, just to give the page just a little bit of a darker, um, more of a, a twilight kind of feel to it. So for the next part of this circle page, I wanted to write a phrase or do some journaling using the Signo White Uniball Opaque Pen that you can see there, around the outside of the page. However, when I tried to write with it on the page, it didn't work. Now, it's nothing wrong with the pen, it's the actual page. It doesn't like the Neo colours. So I went into my bag where I keep all my other pens and pulled out that Uni Paint marker, which you can see there, because I thought that would work instead, and it didn't work either. So I had to quickly think of a different way of getting the quote around the page. So I had to fall back on an old, faithful, trusted technique of using rubber stamps. So the stamp set that I'm using here is the Warm Text stamp set from Tim Holt through Stampers Anonymous and I'm just using the Ranger archival link, the Jet Black archival link for this. Now the quote and the phrase is quite a long one so I'm not going to make you sit through me fishing out the right letters, um, it would take forever. It took me about 35 minutes to actually get the entire quote down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you doing one or two of the words and then I'm going to jump to the end so that you're not bored to tears. So here we are, I'm just inking up the last word and having a little bit of difficulty getting the, um, the letters to stick to the block. And I'm just going to stamp off the last word and then that completes my entire quote around the perimeter of the circle. 
So looking at the lettering and the fact that I've actually stamped onto watercolour card, I wasn't really happy with the, the worn aspect of the worn text on the um, on the stamping. So as you can see, I'm just showing you that there are some areas and some of the letters that are a bit patchy. So I've gone for my trusty food ball pen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just colour in the letters all the way around um, using that food ball pen just where uh, it's a little bit faded so that it just makes the, the lettering pop a little bit more. And I'm not going to make you sit through the whole process of watching me colouring in letters. So I shall just do a couple and then I will skip to the, the end of that part. And that just about wraps up this page. So this is the first page in my new circle journal and I'm just checking through all the letters to make sure that they're all reading right. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the outcome on this one. So all I have to do now is just to sign and date it and then I'm going to call this page complete. So I hope you've enjoyed this first page in my new circle journal. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up so YouTube know that you want to see more from me and they will also recommend my channel to others who may not yet have found me. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. Don't forget, if you really like the digital collage sheet, you can find it on my Etsy store, which the link you can find in the description below. That's all from me. See you all again real soon. Bye for now.